What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and today the number 20 UAB Blazers have their first or their actual third real test of the season. First test was Texas A&M, next test was Maryland. Today is another road test actually, taking on the number 11 Virginia Tech Hokies. And if you guys are excited for today's matchup, make sure you guys drop a like. Show your support for this amazing dynasty. You guys keep on supporting. Keep on showing your love and support for Because obviously, this is you guys make this series what it is right now. This is why this series has been going on for so long. You guys make it fun. You guys make it interesting. You guys have just made it <laughs> the best series I think we've ever done. And, you know, there's obviously other series that I think are great. But this one. This one is the one I always look forward to. Um, and if you guys are, aren't are aware, actually, uh, yesterday was the release of MLB 16 The Show. And I hate plugging other stuff in there. But if you guys are interested in all the other uh, series that I had that just started yesterday, uh, I started a couple more of them up. So if you guys are still interested in like other college stuff, like NCAA Basketball 9 too as well, I started that yesterday too. If you guys, wanted to see, if you guys haven't seen that at all yet, uh, go check that out. I'm looking for teams that I can use in that as well. But let's focus on this game. Let's focus on recruiting. We have a lot of players that are interested in coming to UAB. And that is amazing. That is something that I thought I'd never see the day. Because, let's be honest, when I first started this, nobody wanted to come to UAB. Nobody good anyway. Now we're getting... Recruits up in the you know single digits high like up in the top ten in, the, in their position I don't know about overall just yet, but damn we're, we're getting up there um, Hopefully one of these times that we can get like <laughs> a few number ones like the number one overall recruit in the country That's ultimately like my my goal because I honestly had all my years of playing NCAA I have never gotten a top recruit the top recruit in the country can I do it? In a few years, I think I can. Maybe even next year. If we continue the pace we're growing at, maybe we could do it next year. But as of right now, I'm happy with what we got. <clears throat> our quarterback situation is looking bright in the future. Obviously, our defensive end situation could be taken care of as well as long as we get Andy Payne. But we'll see how it plays out. We still have a lot of season left. This is only game number six. We're only halfway through what has been an astounding season so far. We'll take a look at the top 25 here. And we have Ohio State and Notre Dame and Miami all in the top three. Iowa's up there at four as well. Other undefeated teams are Utah, uh, Utah Connecticut, uh, UCLA, uh, Georgia Tech I think is in there as well, Penn State, um, UAB's up there of course, Oklahoma, TCU's a one-loss team. Uh, but a lot of good teams in the top 25 and take a look at the conference standings because we have played a couple conference games already or yeah we have played a couple uh, but you see our conference is actually looking I wouldn't say weak but there's a lot of the bottom teams that are just sitting there like oh geez you know cringe worthy but anyway I'm glad you guys enjoy this series let's enjoy this game let's get another W let's be bull eligible in as many games as we played that'd be amazing wouldn't it we're not favored to win but I feel like this team can pull out another W we've we've done it a lot this year so hopefully we could do it just one more time against another ranked team should be another great game and I will see you there hi everybody Reese Davis with you bringing you the EA Sports NCAA football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan innovation that excites the Blazers have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime.
Underway here at Lane Stadium as the Virginia Tech Hokies, who are number 11 in the country, are hosting UAB, who are number 20 in the country. So a big primetime matchup in one of the best like college fields in America. All right, Lane Stadium is one of the, it may not be like the prettiest, but it certainly is one of the hardest to play in. And uh, here comes Chris Jones who has had an astounding year this year, continues his excellent play. Hopefully he can do that just against another great team like Virginia Tech. Hand off to Keith Brown, and he's got a few yards and the first down. So we want to start off this game right, at least get on the board, have some momentum on our side, and we could set the tone. So here we go again with Keith Brown up to gut. Gets about five this time. Nice another first down right there. I like that. We like moving the ball. It's what we've been known for. We love showing off our offensive skill set. Jones dropping back on a play action. Look at over the middle. Darts it over to Brian Green who picks up 16 and a first. And keeps the ball moving. We like it when the ball moves. Third down and in inches. This time we get stuffed as Jim McTaggart decides not to block for Chris Jones. And we end up settling for a field goal to make it three to nothing right here as the kick is up and it's good barely but we made it anyway as long as we make it it counts the same you know whether it's from 18 or from 55 they all count the same right so here comes virginia tech's offense who have been known for just about you know their balanced offense they can run they can pass you know they got it all in their offense and uh that's gonna be a tough assignment for us today but we're up to the task our defense is up for it Hopefully on his first possession we can, you know, show him that we're not going to roll over. But it looks like, you know, they're punching us right in the mouth right back. And we've even lost a couple of teeth at that point. You know, <laughs> we get punched in the mouth and we're going like big old smile and we're missing a few teeth. But anyway, next play, Hood looking underneath to McGuire. And McGuire's got room to run. And that is a touchdown for Virginia Tech from 39 yards out. Leslie McGuire gives LS, uh, Virginia Tech... I almost said, why did I almost say LSU? That's not even close. Virginia Tech, a 7-3 lead. Here comes Chris Jones, but he throws an interception to Peoples, and that is just awful, you know, passing right there. He was obviously covered, and what can we do? You know, we got we to gotta do better than that. Third down and 14. Here comes Hood, dropping back, looking for the screen pass, but you know we're there to cover it as he fumbles the ball, but they do recover. And uh, either way, it still counts as, you know, we get the ball anyway. So we just got to come back in the next possession and come back stronger. You know, we got to do our thing on offense, especially this time. Holt in motion. Handoff. Keith Brown. Look at the hole. Look at the space he has to run. Could he take it all the way? No, he can't because he's being chased by somebody who's faster than him. Gains 44 yards. My lord, that's beautiful. Next few plays later, Keith Brown off the gut again, getting another big chunk of yardage. My lord, he's just ripping off big gains at a time, isn't he? First it's 44, then it's like 15 the next. Holy crap, what is he doing? Is he, is he, on, is he, another, is he a man possessed? I don't even know. I don't even know what to say because he's like, he's like just playing out of his mind. But Devin Lemon this time, just time, like give, give Keith Brown a breather, you know? You got to give him a breather. He just pulled off huge runs. So off again to Devin Lemon, and he makes the freshest lemonade on the block. That's a touchdown, and it's now 10-7 UAB. Would you look at that? We're, we're competing on the road with one of the top teams in the country once again, and hopefully, just hopefully, we can come out with another win. Hood looking over the middle to carry. First down, Virginia Tech, as they keep moving the ball near midfield. Can they get a score before halftime? Well, their offense has been playing very well, so... We'll see how we can uh, respond here on defense. Hood again, looking to underneath again to carry. Carry gets another first down, and uh, gets just enough. You know, you, you know, just gotta get enough to get that first down. Keep the chains moving. Get another three plays. You know what I'm saying? As long as they don't turn the ball over, I think they're solid. Second down at nine. Hood looking over right or left side, caught by Palmer. Steps out of bounds, and Virginia Tech again in the red zone. We're getting punched in the mouth left and right. What are we doing? Our defense is looking lost out there. Two minutes to go. Hood dropping back. Looking under over to the left side. Caught by Palmer. Down to the one. 
And Virginia Tech is ever so close to scoring once again. Ryan Hood, uh, Brian Hood, 6 of 8 for 98 yards in that one touchdown pass he had earlier. Third down and goal. Let's see if they can punch it in. Hood, drop it back. Three-step, quick three-step, uh, three-step, uh, I can't even say. He got a touchdown, whatever. 14-10, Virginia Tech. I know, I messed that up so bad, but I'm back. Here we go, offense on the field. This time, it's Doug Nash. You know, he's ripping off big uh, chunks of yardage at a time. He He's averaging over 20 yards a catch, I think. So, third down and 10, looking for that screen pass. It's Devin Lemon, and you know he makes the freshest lemonade on the block. Can he take this all the way? No, he cannot. He had definitely the potential to do so. Picked up 35 on that one. And now, with 53 seconds left, Jones scrambling to his right. He's going to take off running this time, and he's going to pick up 22 with this run. And, man, UAB looking like they're ready to score once again before halftime. And first and goal here again. Keith Brown up the gut. No one's going to touch him. Touchdown. UAB Blazers, it's now 17 to 10. This game's getting real interesting, isn't it? And we're, not, we're only at halftime, right? We're only at halftime. This game has just been amazing. You know, back and forth we go. Uh, Brian Hood looking over the middle, but this time it's dropped by Kerry. He's had a good game, but that one drop he had, man. Could it come back to bite him? Who knows? Our offense has been playing very well. Hopefully we can execute down the stretch. Jones dropping back. Looks. Has time. Throws it deep, but not deep enough as he clearly did not lead his receiver at all as I think you know <laughs> Green stood there for like a good three seconds but that's his, that's his second interception of the game and uh, you know we can't have that we can't have that at all third down and six here's Brian Hood in the shotgun dropping back gonna take off running and he's gonna get just short of the first and they're in field goal range I think they're gonna try and make this one from like 52 yards out and We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Kick is up and it's good. So now it is 17 all here. Coming to the later stretch of the game, late third quarter, coming into the fourth. You know, these games get real tight now. Underneath the Donald Hills, and he gets the first down. So the offense has to do something on this possession. I feel like if we do not do it on this possession, we don't get a field goal. We don't get a touchdown, something. If we don't get a score, it's going to look really bad for us. Because right now, we've held our own. And we look like we could be in position <clears throat> to upset Virginia Tech. So Jones dropping back, looking over to the left side. It's caught by Green. He's making, he's dancing with that other guy, his defender. But he picks up 23. I was like, okay, I see you, Brian Green. I see you. Third down, Jones scrambling. Trying to find something. Gets it off to Tony Clark. The fullback gets out of bounds after picking up 12. And another first down for the uh, UAB Blazers. What am I saying here? Third down and 13. Jones again. Trying to find somebody. Gets it underneath the uh, Keith Brown. He was just trying to avoid being sacked, which I understand. You got to avoid the sack. You don't want to take the risk of putting yourself in a longer field goal position. And, uh, you know, this was a smart play in a sense because, you know, you got to get rid of it to somebody. And uh, he got it off to the open guy. But, I mean, he was about to be hit. And if he would have had more time, he probably would have found somebody open. But we made the smart move. It didn't end up costing us. We still got points. We still have the lead, right? So we just got to play defense and everything's good, which we did on that last play. So we got to score again to try and put this one out of reach. So here's Keith Brown again. Has room to run. Gets another first down, picking up 10. He's getting, if he's not over, yeah, he's over 100 yards already today, rushing the ball on just only 12 carries. 12 carries, ladies and gentlemen. So McTaggart again, getting this pass midfield for a pickup of 10. And, you know, where's Virginia Tech's defense? We've been playing pretty good against this defense. Um, yeah, we've come out with a lot of field goals today. We've come out with a couple of them. But we also have the lead, so, I mean, that just shows how good we've been playing today. You know, win or lose, I still think this is probably one of the better games that we've had. Um, because we're facing against the top-ranked team. And, you know, we didn't get the first down there. But, you know, again, we get another field goal. They have to get a touchdown to at least, you know, tie the game. Extra point pending, of course. They're probably going to make it because it's only it's not the 15-yard uh, line extra point. It's the 2-yard line extra point. So, again, back on defense we go. And that's just bad run, uh, bad run defense by uh, our defense. And Elliott gets a good pickup of, like, 30 on that play. 
So second down and two here for Virginia Tech. Under two to go now, so the time is on. The pressure is on Virginia Tech to try and score. They get a completion right there. Rouse makes a stop, but they're now in field goal range, which actually doesn't really apply in this situation. But it's worth noting that they are getting close. So under a minute to go now. Hood dropping back. Look, has time underneath the McGuire, and he's going to take this down to the six as he has 12 yards on that one. So here we go. Under a minute to go. Virginia Tech with two timeouts. Can they get a score? Hood dropping back. Oh, he hands it off, and it's a touchdown for Elliott Dixon. And it's now 24 to 23 with under a minute to go. So can UAB do it again? Jones dropping back, looking underneath the hills. First down. The clock stops in college after as soon as you get a first down. So we got to be efficient and try and set up plays and not waste any time. No huddle offense. Let's go. Jones dropping back again. Looking over the right side, Donald Hill steps out of bounds after picking up the first 12 yards, and the chains move again. Can we get in field goal range? That's all, that's all we need, honestly. That's all we need. Jones again, looking right side. Donald Hills again, picking up 12. Same thing. First down, uh, Virginia Tech has their backs up against the wall. Let's see if we can execute. Second down and four. Jones looks. End zone. And this one is going to be a flag on the play. And it happens, it just so happens that it's pass interference on Virginia Tech. So now we are well within field goal range. Virginia Tech is going to call a timeout. And then we're going to rely on a freshman kicker with the ice on, with the game on the line. And it is no! Damn. <laughs> oh, God. What a rough way to end the game. And I, I thought I lined it up right. I, I honestly did. And I guess the pressure just got to the freshman kicker. I mean, he is a freshman. And on the road, in a big environment like this, it's tough. It really is. But we're 5-1. and one. We're still going to be ranked, I think, at the end of this. So it's not the end of the world. We lost to a really good football team. And honestly, we'll be back in better than, than ever before next week. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're a first-time viewer. And until next time, my name is Simon with Vengeance, and I'm out.